Hi, everyone. Welcome to this grading in Google Classroom tutorial. This view that you have right now is the classwork tab of my Level 2 American Literature classroom. The unit we are currently in is focused on education and empowerment. So you can see how I've labeled my topic three for unit three and named it education and empowerment. Um, the most current unit is always at the top. So if you look at the side navigation here, all topics, you have my um, unit three here, um, unit two, unit one, and some other resources. Now, what I would like to show you is a ongoing document that my students are using throughout the entirety of the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and open up thread 3.8 here. I number my threads so that um, it's an easy reference point for my students when I'm asking them to navigate between different documents. And when I open the thread, you can see there's some more information that the students have access to, as well as the document status. Now, because this is an ongoing document, not, no student really needed to have turned it in yet, but I can click on any one of the numbers to access the student work. When I do that, the first item of business will be to sort by last name so that when I work through the documents, I'm working through them in the same order as my Aspen gradebook. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the first document and you'll see that I have been on this document at least once. Um, we've completed the first text of the unit and so um, you will see that this student has received at least one grade um, in a comment field. I don't use the classroom grade book. I just put the grade on the actual document and then transfer that same grade into, or input, I should say, into Aspen. Um, in addition to a grade, you may also find that I've noted some strong statements written by the student and um, in the private comment function, kept track of anything that I might need to remember. Um, for instance, absences. Um, this will help remind me why something may not have been done when I expect it to be done. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and grade an in-class response live with you. And so here um, you will see that um, you are most likely when you open a document in the suggesting mode and what that looks like is when you go to ahead to do something um, like strike through it will automatically create um, a suggest a suggestion i'm not a big fan of this i think it clutters up the right side of a document with unnecessary comments so i will turn off that suggesting mode and work strictly in editing so I will manually also just strike through that statement um, and actually I'm expand what needs to be deleted. Now I have um, a pretty robust comment bank at this point and um, I can access my stock comments um, with the use of keywords. And so when I strike through a document, strike through something on a student's document, I let them know what their options are and why I've done that. I never delete things on students. I want them to make the decision about whether or not to keep a statement or delete it. Now, um, I am also going to remind this student to capitalize what I believe should be the beginning of their sentence. And I do that by just um, highlighting things in yellow. And again, that's another stock comment of mine. Um, no need to um, leave a comment behind regarding capitalization. Um, in addition to editing, I would also give them an overall piece of feedback on the content of their writing. 